Welcome back to the channel, and I hope you all are having a great day. So, interesting topic today, Andrew Yang, spiritual politics. What does that mean, spiritual politics? So, you know, when we're speaking about uh, spirit, the, the word spiritual in the context of uh, this video and, and, and we're, we're, we're not, of course, talking about religion or we're not talking about any cults or, <laughs> you know, we're not talking about uh, anything uh, relative to that. But what we are talking about is, I guess, uh, an approach to politics that, for lack of a better word, may be more homeopathic uh, to kind of feel the idea of what's missing from the whole in politics. Uh, I, I remember one of my, my favorite science fiction movies uh, was called The Day the Earth Stood Still. And uh, not, the, not the Keanu Reeves version, not, <laughs> uh, the original 1950s one. Um, and the message of that movie was that if you haven't seen this, it, a great movie, one of my favorite movies of all time, great movie even today, and it's a 1950s movie. <laughs> uh, but the message of that was that, uh, you know, without giving the whole movie away, but aliens visit the earth and, uh, they come to the conclusion that, you know, how our systems exist, our political systems, our world, it just isn't in line with the rest of the universe because it's kind of like a federation of planets and we are a dangerous group of people with a messed up system and they just decide that we're missing something in our system and we got to go um and the idea that kind of i get from all of that is that in our politics we're missing something very very important that I think this election in all the years I've been alive, I've never seen an election like this. This is a very interesting election where it's really kind of come up in this way. And, um, you know, looking at people like Andrew Yang and Marianne Williamson, they, they've been the more on the more extreme sides of this to kind of drive home that message. And, to kind of understand, uh, explain that if you look at somebody like Andrew Yang, he, uh, and they pick on lovely Marianne Williamson. They just say she's kind of too far out there with her spiritual stuff. But uh, to, to, to kind of, you know, explain it, you know, Andrew Yang, you know, his approach is humans over, uh, human beings are more important than capital in our society, right? Which is, should be normal, should be a normal way of looking at things as, as human beings, but apparently not. Apparently we've got shifted away from that to the point where we're more concerned about who's getting what, who's doing what, uh, than making sure people have health care and don't die on the streets, right? We're, we're more worried about if they work for it or not, if they paid for it or not, and if they didn't, then they shouldn't have access to that health care. You know, this is this is where we're at with this. And we're we're in a situation where money and our political system is more important than the people in it. Right uh, now, under the Constitution, in the Constitution, the idea of well-being comes up and how the government should uh, look out for the well-being of its citizens. Um, and um you know, but that's not really how American citizens feel today. How American citizens feel today is it's us against the government, right? The, the government is not looking out for us. The government is its own entity protecting its own interests and own particular groups. And it's, and it's basically throwing the rest of us under the bus. So, uh, and a lot of this has come up with these type of uh, how our minds have now been warped into the ideas that fall under things like the measurement of GDP, right? And how we measure GDP. And um, I kind of, you know, uh, like to refer to the country of Bhutan a lot 
where they don't use GDP. They use the well-being of citizens and the happiness of citizens as the most important measuring device. And that's what I mean by uh, kind of the spiritual politics kind of coming in and adding to the whole something that's been missing. The idea that we don't have that and because we don't have that, uh, you know, we're uh, um, uh, we're behind. Right. And, and, and where, I, where I think our political system should be or, or maybe where it needs to be kind of go off of the fantasy a little bit again, because I, I find so many interesting comparisons in the fantasy worlds and the, and the comic book worlds. But uh, many of you all are probably with the Black Panther uh, movie from the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe or even the comic book. And I understand what's happening there is. There's a very similar theme there to where the nation of Wakanda, which is the most technologically advanced nation on Earth, has cut itself off from the rest of the planet. Right. And the reason it's being is because what they're saying is they're saying that we lack the spiritual advancement to to be able to handle technology like what they have. Um and it's just so very interesting that without that spiritual element, and again, I don't, I'm not trying to define it in a religious uh, uh, sense. It's more of, a, of about a human sense and, and how we value one another. But um, because we lack it, we're more dangerous when it comes to handling the technology and weapons. And that's why there's always these doomsday scenario uh, leading to a nuclear holocaust and a variety of things because in our political structure in the systems we've created and our thought process and, and, and how we approach things uh, because it doesn't have those certain spiritual elements we're unable to achieve or reach those certain levels that are necessary and uh, you know, one thing that's quite uh, concerning and, uh, um, you know, very much an indicator how far off we are is that we still at this point can't even convince people that universal basic income and people having their basic needs met, having rights to basic needs is something that we should have. We don't we don't <laughs> you know, we don't even think that's a good idea. Right. We're still kind of on the on the paradigm or the idea of uh, the system of capital over human beings, right? Because if that weren't the case, then capital wouldn't occupy a place over human beings, right? And that's what it does. That's what it does in our healthcare system. That's what it does in our monetary system. Uh, that's why Americans uh, struggle so hard and they can't afford to uh, even pay their bills after they have worked all week. And um, for the first time in our elections, we have people like Andrew Yang and Marianne Williamson that come with an approach that I think begins to add to the whole of what our political system is, right? Because it's just not. It's just not there, you know, it's just, it's this, it's this entity, it's this, it's this thing that's moving and it's putting out laws, right? And the laws are in place to lock people up and do a variety of things. And it locks these people up and people come out of these systems of, um, and when I say lock up, I don't mean just literally being locked up like in a prison, but I mean in every sense of being locked up or locked down um and uh you're in this vicious cycle you're you're literally in like a prison cycle when you come out of when some of the inmates come out of prison it's estimated that 66 percent of them go back to prison because of the political system the prison system it is it is missing a hole to changing and really rehabilitating our our our, our human systems, right? And it's the same way in our economic systems. It's, it's a vicious cycle people are trapped in. And we're unable to 
uh, through our political systems and governments, um, create systems that work and get to the root cause of this. And I believe because we have yet to have got to places like where Marianne Williamson is at, places like where Andrew Yang's at. And I think for the first time when we're able to see something like that implemented to our system, are we going to begin to really experience the full wholeness and um, uh, of, of the type of political system that could possibly work for us, this kind of, uh, for lack of a better word, word, this type of spiritual political system that values human beings over, over the system itself. But that's all I want to say in this video. Uh, if you all like content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, as always, take care.